Welcome to Sue Hack. Hacker simulation, real time virtual hacking, be the top one rank hacker, teach chat with other players, praise. That is what it says. Released November 2nd, 2018, developed by Eric L., published by L Tech. Seems to be a very small game made in Unity, released several years ago. Does not have a lot of attention, only three user reviews. Uh, tagged as hacking, simulation, crime, stealth, and heist. It is in early access. Okay. Let's see what we have. Um, bah, bah, bah. Okay, this is a very messy menu. We're going to hit start and we're going to go with that. Please choose a login and password. Login, of course, the most secure login ever. Password, of course, the most secure password ever. <laughs> Oh, boy. Why uh, did they use different sized fonts? P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-1, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D-1. They're not the same length. Passwords, a smaller font size. So, email to resend password. Sure, go. Here is the main screen of the game, your virtual computer. The bottom of the menu, the first thing to look at is the system logs. The screen shows the hidden information. More importantly, IP addresses that you are going to hack. Delete syslogs to hide your actions history. Now click on the syslogs. Now what you see is the hack tool. Content from here, you can run from... Hack, so wait, hold on a sec. Is this me or is it them? Now what you see is the hack tool content. From here, you could run the tools installed for hack. Buy more on shop. When you click on hack button where you get the IP input box where to paste the previous IP found, 10, 11, 12, 13, this starts to countdown and connect you on the chat server. Skipped in tutorial. Now click on go to hack the T chat. It's not directing me to a go button. This is an X. That's also not a go button. That is hack. Now you see is the hack tool content. From here, you can run the tools installed for hack by more on shop. When you click on hack button, you get the IP input box where to paste the pre. Oh, so I'm getting a call. Okay. Um, this start a countdown and connect you to the TChat server skipped in tutorial. Now click on go to hack the t-chat. Hack. Target IP go. Okay, there's a go button. Now you are reading t-chat log and see new IP to hack. But first, as main goal is money, you will need to download a spam on t-chat. So open HDD and click send. You are about to send a spam virus, so click on send, then install. Spam <laughs> size 10 type firewall. Uh, uh, okay. Congratulations. This virus is worth a small amount every hour, but to save the profits, you have to open the black box tool and click on chest. To finish, you will be able to read missions.txt on hard disks, hack the bank, buy new tools from our complex actions to reach the top 10 hackers. There is no chest. It says safe credits. Save money to bank. Finished. Okay. Rule five, collect money from spam manager or backup server. Events, nothing. Top one spams player, Cali Nethunter 31. Well, with a name like that, I can easily see why. Um, what the hell is this down here? Is this an MMO? Is this like legitimately an MMO? Online PVP, cross-platform multiplayer. That's what it says. Requires third-party account Suhack Eltech supports linking to Steam account. I don't remember signing up for that. So, okay, T chat. Okay. Oh shit! 
Uh... <laughs> um... <laughs> this seems to be other players. Who is the... I don't... Why is it highlight the words when I hover over them? Uh, um... I, a hacker, money piss, uh, a hackers, jazz world. Um, is this my to believe there's no date with the timestamp? So, Polish, English, English, sup, okay, okay. Welcome, tutorial. Hello, and welcome. Main goal is to connect to the user station and steal money. First, connect to uh, TChat server. You will see the IP in your log. Then find others. Okay, that's what I just did. So, I do see others. Block list. What's list? Block user list. Okay. Um, okay. Clans. Syslogs. Okay, local, okay, or IRC client, gotcha. Uh, bank. Sure. Why would I want to send money? Did that say Bank of Broland? It did. Are we... Are we in an era of the bro hacker? Is that where we're at? Oh... Okay, uh, alarm, alarm vigilant two, alarm guardian, antivirus escrow, infos. Okay. Cali Nethunter, 31 installs. STK 25, doesn't look like it takes very much to get high up in the board, but here's me all the way down here, one eleven thousand or sorry, one thousand one hundred and four. System G host, Bubbly Raven, System Ghost, the one. These are very hacker names. These seem really legit. So um <laughs> is this a, is this a game? Is this a game? Uh, buy it, install on other stations for score and credits. To install spam, click HDDD button, then on the set IFD of hacked your target station. Emails. Sent. Write. Send to. Uh, okay. I don't think this is a game. <laughs> At least not in the traditional sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> or perhaps in any sense. Um, uh, Sure, run the AV. Okay. Netruder spammer spam generator. Okay. Yeah. Um Okay. Uh I, I don't have a problem. So the I, uh, whenever I am having trouble reading in in these games, particularly these Indies games, I never mean it as an insult because English is a very difficult language to learn, and I'm I've made efforts to learn several other languages in my life, and I know how. Oh, they're doing the thing with the gears where the gears don't work. Neat. Uh, anyway, I I know how difficult it is to learn languages. I'm not at all uh, reading these uh, help files and such in stilted English because I'm in any way denigrating their language skills. Um, but it is, you know, comprehension is critical to learning. And so I'm kind of doing what I need to do in order to understand this. Um, 
that said, I find that even without uh, any potential language barrier here, these instructions don't make any sense. Nothing we're doing here is at all realistic. Um, none of the terminology they're using is correct. It's marked as a hacking simulator. That's not what this is. Uh, we don't have a spam virus that is a firewall type, and then we just send it, and then we get money. That's not how that works. And on top of that, I'm not even sure how to play the game. <laughs> I went through a tutorial, and I still do not understand how to play the game. I get that some of the instructions seem to indicate that this is the teach chat, these are other players, and I should be attacking them. I get that I attack them by sending uh, the virus to them and such, but to be perfectly honest with you, uh, that does not seem to be an achievable objective. This might be the shortest video I've ever done. I've only been doing this for 11 minutes, and I think I'm done because this is obviously not what I'm looking for, and it doesn't seem like there is any fun to be had. I guess, um, <sighs> uh, okay, fine. Let's, let's at least do this again, which was our IRC chat server. Yeah. Hit the hack button. Maybe I should purchase a scanner. Maybe that will help me, huh? Oh. Well done. We hacked it. Average hack. Administrator, T-Chat, serve. Host name, Blebich. Okay. Um, so now I can, what? Incredible mission text. What is this? Find the IP hidden in the following text, then hack it. A-A-B-A-A-C-A-C -A 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 dot B. You need to buy a good anti-firewall. Okay, so am I supposed to mean that, is that supposed to mean that it's 11121132? Is that what that means? There it is. Anti spoof. Anti spoof. Well, we'll counter effect of spoof tool and try to blah, blah, blah. Um, send spammer. Yes. Why not? CPU need for speed three, 2000. Software started. That's right. You just got hacked, baby. You just got hacked. I can't remember how to get money. Corrupted data leaked for blah, blah, blah. Not connected. Um, that's me. G-Line sent it on. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm profoundly bored. Uh, switch. Ah, switch. Switch back and forth. Target. Okay. Um, all right. I get the, I get the idea. This is, um, I could deal with low quality. I can't deal with low effort. Um, this is purely aesthetic. Um, and this is a small studio again. Uh, it's been out for a while. It doesn't seem to have gotten a lot of attention, so I'm not going to dump on them or anything, but, um, it is kind of misusing, uh, terminology uh, it has the aesthetics of a hacking simulator without any of the um, any of the actual useful bits of it. It's definitely not a learning tool. Um, I'm just it's a clicking simulator, just like so many others that we've seen. I do see that the developer here. Eric L. has a DLC, which is just a $10 donation. 
This is only a $4 game on Steam as of this recording. Let's see what it says here. Uh, this is this small hack game show you a station computer from where you could start to explore hack the virtual networks of the game and find money to buy new tools. So you are a hacker, Winky Face. Game is multi-platform and real-time. Steam, Android phones, tablets, and Windows Store. Oh, maybe is this like an idle game? Is that what it is? Is that why I'm seeing it this way? In this hacker's world, you will get a basic computer station with a syslog screen and t-chat window. From these windows, you should try to find in game IP to hack, then look after critical data. This is main hacker task. Also, always keep in mind your own log panel is an open fight ground for hackers. Clean it often or bad things could happen like people wanting to hack you as soon as possible. Note, this game is in current development. Most of the visual in interface will be reworked. Enhanced firewall system and display of hack will come soon. Focus is made for easy visual graphic user interface with less text inputs. Tip, delete application data if you have login issues or other bugs. See you soon, and good luck to reach top three scores. Note about price. This price is in order to cover the initial Steam developer cost for the PC release, but also to pay next UI designs upgrades. Hack. Hack the hackers before they hack you. Before that they hack you. Excuse me. All right, so um, I guess Eric L., if you ever happen to see this video, I appreciate the effort. And I would not say that the, the, the visual interface obviously is a little rough. Um, but, you know, I'm less concerned about that. Um, the real problem here is that this is merely a clicking simulator with uh, cybersecurity aesthetics to it. So before you even consider the visual interface, my advice for you would be to work on the gameplay elements and tighten up the terminology. I I am I don't know you, but my guess is English is not your first language, which is fine. Um, but do maybe find somebody to help you work on a translation or something like that, because that would help with comprehension in the instructions. Um, but everything you've described here, syslog, teach chat, IP to hack, spam, firewall, virus and so on these are terms that do have very specific meanings in the industry and maybe those terms aren't translated into whatever your native language is um, but they do have specific meanings and those at least you do want to get right um, and uh, no game that involves clicking a button to successfully hack something is really going to be well number one it's not going to be a good simulation because it's not at all how things are done it's not going to be good for learning but it's also not very fun nobody wants to just play a game where they click a button and win so um, the fun of hacking is figuring out puzzles with very limited information coming up with um, ingenious solutions to unconventional problems or unconventional problems to ingenious solutions i guess depending on how you look at it um, but that is where I would, would focus your efforts. And this is just one, one man's opinion. So take it, uh, you know, take it for what it is. Um, but, um, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend this as a hacking simulator. The fact that it's available cross platform on steam and Android and so on is actually really interesting. Um, I absolutely would, uh, would lean into that. Um, because I think that there is a market, albeit small, of course, for a small idle style game like this, um, but you at least want to take advantage of the principles behind it rather than just using it as an aesthetic to prop up what is otherwise, I mean, let's face it, an, an idle clicking simulator. Do we have any reviews here? Fun game to play to pass some time. Would recommend giving it a try. Um, okay. Uh, received product for, for, oh, there's five reviews. It says there's only three. Um, and only two appear. Store page says three, then it says five, and now there's only two. Okay. Uh, receive the product for free. Okay. Well, uh, there's only two of them, so I guess I'll take a look, but I'll take this with a grain of salt. Robust hacker experience. False. 
Those who played Hacking Sims, especially he, now Hacker Wars or Uplink, will feel right at home in this game. Also false. I don't know how come that I never left a review for this game, but I loved it. I'm a former one number rank and held that place for quite a while, for a few months at least. It is a one man passion project, and even though it's rough around the edges, again, I can overlook the roughness around the edges considering this is a small studio and one person working on it. Of course, I've played other games that are the same, but much better. The passion and love are shown in the game. I don't know if this is active or not, so be warned before you decide to buy it. I had the privilege to actively chat with Dev on Discord, and he's an amazing guy. Okay, I think I see why you got it for free, and I think I see why you left this four to five stars. If this is active, you'll have a lot of fun. Keep in mind that the last time I played this was in 2019. 75.5 hours on record. Eric, I hope you married this person. They are definitely your biggest fan. Definitely. Um, holy cats. Well, I'm not putting that much time into this. Um, although, you know, I perhaps would be willing to marry one or both of those people. We'll see. Call me, you know. We'll think of something. I got all kinds of ideas. Okay. <laughs> I'm done with this one. Bye.